Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at how we deal with collisions with the enemy. So in the last video, we allocated random movement to our monster. And in this video, we're going to, uh, to code what happens, the event that, that takes place when we collide with the monster. Now eventually, obviously, we want to be able to reduce our number of lives that we have by one and to either restart the level or move the character back to the start. So what I'm going to do, rather than restarting the level, is just to have the character move back to its start position. Currently, if I collide with the monster, nothing happens. Nothing happens because we haven't set a collision event yet to deal with what happens when we collide with the monster. So we're going to look at that now. So I'm going to open up the player object because I want to deal with what happens when the player collides with the, um, the monster. So I'm going to add another event in here and I'm going to select another collision event. Okay, And this time we're going to decide what happens when we collide with the monster. So on collision, return to start position. So that's what we're going to do uh, with this piece of code. So it's a pretty straightforward um, piece of code. What we're going to do is to reset the X position to the start position on the level and the Y position to the Y start position on the level. So if we look at the room, okay, our start position, well, I'll move the character back to where we would normally start, which is down here. Our X position is here and our Y position is here. Okay, so it's getting, those are the two X and Y values that are stored for the start position of our character. So um, that's what it's going to use. That's where it's going to return us to. So if I go back onto the workspace, so I want to set the value of X. I want to set that value to X start. Okay, and that is the start position of the X value. And I want to set the, current, the value of Y to Y start. Okay, so what that will do, it will return us to the X and Y position that we start our level on. And I'll show you that this works by changing the start position of the character in the map in a second. So let's run the code, I'll compile and test it, and see what happens when we collide with the monster. So I'll leave it there, and what that should happen then, it should go back to the bottom left hand corner of the screen. And it does. Okay, so you can see that that's working. So let's try just to show you what I mean and change the start position of our character. So let's say we start the game over here in the bottom right hand corner. So let's see what happens when I run the game then. So when my start position is different, X is there, Y is there. So 1728 X, 928Y. Not that you have to be concerned with that, but I just wanted to demonstrate. So let's run the game. Let's move the character. So remember we started in the bottom right hand corner this time. What happens when we collide? It puts us back to the start position on the, on the, on the level. So that's how we deal with collisions with a monster. And that's how it's going to return us to the start position on the map to continue the game. Like I say, eventually it will deduct the number of lives that we have by one each time we collide with a monster. So I'll see you in the next video.